Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here at Crypto Nation. So this is another um, episode of Crypto Nation Reacts. And let's get right on to it. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button for our post notifications. And also, if you can't support the channel, PayPal Cash App is always in the description. So here's the, um, uh, you know, I like to do the, my reaction videos on the um, All Coins Daily. This is the title is Turn 1,000 into 1 Million. And then it says my retire early Bitcoin strategy. Let's see what they're talking about here. Um, you know, just how we do it. Um, so don't forget to um, have those notifications on. Uh, let's get to it. Crypto wealth is on the horizon. It is not too late. Now and over the next month or so is the time to get in. I sent this information to my closest friends. I wish they understood what I'm about to share with you. If you're interested in making money in crypto, subscribe to Altcoin Daily for daily crypto info. Let's talk first about Larry Fink and the Bitcoin ETFs as a whole. These ETFs have been wildly successful and the best is still yet to come. ETF buying pressure is about to really heat up. Brian Dixon, CEO of The Chain Capital, explains this. Listen. So we had some tremendous inflows early on when the ETFs were launched earlier this year. And I think we're going to see a much larger amount of allocations happen towards the tail end of this year and early next year. And the reason I think that is because if we look at the biggest allocators in the world. These are sovereign wealth funds, endowments, pension plans, foundations. It can take them eight to 12 months or longer just to accomplish the due diligence on making an investment. So first they've got to do their research and do their due diligence. Then they've got to move through their investment mandates and investment committees. Then they have to educate their clients and then the allocations happen. So a lot of these big allocators are still in this process because these ETFs were just launched earlier this year. So that's going to take them time to move forward with this so they can actually get everything ready and the infrastructure set up and all of their boxes checked before they can actually make these allocations. So if we look at it from that perspective, the largest allocations, in my opinion, in these ETFs haven't even occurred yet and it will likely be later this year, early next year. Another hugely important narrative is Donald Trump Joe Biden and Bobby Kennedy, all running for president, all trying to win the vote of the crypto community, which is now larger than ever. Another very important narrative that I think people need to pay attention to is how the political tides have changed recently. So before the Democratic Party was very anti-crypto, and now we're seeing Trump that's being very pro-crypto, saying he wants to build a crypto army. We're seeing RFK Jr., who's very pro-crypto as well. Well, the Democratic Party is starting to change their tune as well. That's a huge narrative shift coming from the current administration. And I think that's going to be a very big topic with this being an election year. And as that continues to play out, we have a lot of single issue voters, There's over 50 million crypto holders in the United States. And a lot of these people are single issue voters. So if you don't support crypto, you will not get the vote. And so with that, I think it's going to be such an important political competition in who can be the most supportive to this emerging technology and asset class to garner those votes. That's a really important narrative to pay attention to as well. So again, I emphasize, now is the time to get into crypto before something like this happens. I'm going to be releasing another top altcoin video soon. Make sure you subscribe. But this is your warning. Bitcoin and crypto in a month or two. I mean, nobody can predict the future, but it is my strong opinion that crypto markets will be rallying as hard as they ever have been. And now is the time to get in. Here, Brian Dixon lists exactly why now is the time to get in. Bitcoin historically has gone through its own cycles, regardless of the election or not. Uh, usually, 12 to 18 months following the Bitcoin halving cycle is the best time to be exposed to the space. And that's just generated all the performance. So this has happened independent of an election. So when we add the ETFs on top of that, which creates an easier on ramp for people to get exposure to the asset, and we add things like a change in political party that could be much more supportive to the asset, I think that's just going to amplify the performance of what could happen in time. Now with that, Something I think that's very important to look at is that if we have a new administration take office, 
that's also likely going to shake up the regulators, right? Because when a new president takes office, he's going to change who he wants to be at the helm of these different organizations. And that's what we've seen historically. And so if that occurs, that could actually be a very favorable thing for the digital asset space. And so if we do see that change in administration, I would look at that as a large net positive to the space as well. Look, I know the market is down. I know the price is chopping around. I know a lot of you are unsure about what's to happen next in crypto. Look, the smartest people are either buying here or continuing to hold. This is an opportunity for you. Listen, let's look historically at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin in bull markets typically drops 20 to 30 percent multiple times through a bull market cycle. Right. So if we look back to 2017 bull market, Bitcoin dropped 20 to 30 percent over 10 times and still reach new all time highs. And then in the 2020, 2021 bull market, Bitcoin dropped 20 to 30% four times and then still reach new all time highs. So without the volatility, you don't get the performance. And I think this is a feature, not a bug. And most of the volatility happens on the upside. And generally people aren't complaining on volatility when it happens on the upside. They're trying to protect against the volatility on the downside. And if we look at Bitcoin compared to Amazon back in 2000, I mean, Amazon dropped 80% several times and look where that organization is today. So I really think that Bitcoin is going through price discovery where the world is trying to really understand what the technology is worth. Some people think it's worthless, like I said before. Some people think it's priceless. We're seeing some of that sentiment with the shifts in the ETF outflows and inflows. That, in my opinion, is mostly risk on investors. And Bitcoin long term, I do not think is a risk on asset. Bitcoin is a store of value. It is a insurance from war. I think it's a very, very important asset that the vast majority of the world still does not understand. But as people begin to comprehend, Nothing dims my light like a migraine. With Nurtec ODT, I found relief. The only migraine comprehend what Bitcoin actually is, I think we're going to see much more steady inflows in the long term. So the big question, what is the expert price prediction? And let's be real. What is the fair value of Bitcoin based on fundamentals? Because let's understand this. Price is one thing. It varies. But value, value is another thing. Hey, make sure you get your tickets for Bitcoin Nashville. Use code altcoin daily for 10% off. We will be speaking on stage there. I hope to see you. Once Bitcoin clears $100,000, altcoins will go crazy. And that's how you get generational wealth. The problem is most people don't know that Bitcoin will be over 100K this cycle. And again, if any of us knew the future, we'd all be rich. Anything can happen. Is over a 100K Bitcoin still possible? Yeah, I believe, honestly, me personally, man, I, I believe that Bitcoin is going to, uh, Bitcoin is going to possibly hit um, by, I'll say by August, we can, we can a bare minimum by August, I'll say see an 80K Bitcoin. That's just what I'm thinking. Or we could go higher than 80K by um by august but let's see what happens in between now and like july it's still today's june 20th all we know bitcoin could pump the 80k in july we never know man we never know what can happen uh but let's see you know um yeah we could it could definitely pump the 75 to 80k by um yeah sometime maybe like mid or late july we could probably see a 75k bitcoin let's see you know it's unpredictable uh you know we just got to keep our seat belts um you know um strapped subscribe and comment listen to this i actually think where bitcoin is standing today is quite normal for where it should be a few months after the halving in my experience so i've been in the space since 2012 and i think the way that things are moving right now and the volatility is actually quite normal a lot of times people don't really understand the difference between price and value but one of the things that we use is models to help us understand what that price could be at a given point in time um, one example would be trend line analysis, which actually indicates that Bitcoin should be worth over $148,000 today. Uh, stock to flow is another model that says Bitcoin should be worth over $100,000 today. And the Bitcoin power law model says Bitcoin should be worth around $71,000 today. So if you look at these models, it actually indicates that Bitcoin is very undervalued from where it should be at today. So you really got to know the difference between price and value. The price is going to move around. But what is the value of Bitcoin? Some people think it's worthless. Other people think it's priceless. Um, I'm in the camp that over time, I believe it'll be proven out that Bitcoin is a priceless technology. But as the price moves around, it's going to be very volatile and we will see in time. But you know, you really have to understand that difference between price and value. 
there's never been a better time to get a new R Max than right now during the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event. All right, guys, that, that concludes uh, the Crypto Nation reaction to Ocoin Dailies uh, turn a thousand into one million. Uh, but anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Tell me what you think, what the what they're saying here. What do you guys think Bitcoin is going over the next, um, you know, you know, few months? But I but I pretty much already you know said my prediction why I think it's going. I believe it can possibly hit that 80k, 75 to 80k by like mid to late uh, July. Going into August, we could possibly see a 80, you know, maybe even a higher than the 80k Bitcoin. But you know, uh, and at this point, it's kind of speculation. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys um, in the next video. Peace.